Um, I moved up to Connecticut in 2013, and I sold in North Carolina. If you could sell in New England, you could sell anywhere in the country. <laughs> I'm not joking. If you can, if you can do it, nothing be like, is it hard? No. But if you're from here, you're from here, you're just like them, okay? Um, <laughs> that you're, you're, you're the same, all right? So you're like, oh, I kind of get it, okay? But like, I was, I'm from California, and then went to school in North Carolina, and like, when you're skinny in North Carolina, everybody wants to feed you. So like, when you walk into their home, they go, boy, you need some food. I walked into houses up here, they were just like, uh, and what? Like, no food, no sweet tea, you know, you guys aren't nice. Like, at all. I was like, oh, this is, I, but you, but you know what? It's about business up here. And one thing I learned is when I came up here to start working, I realized how intentional I needed to be. There was, you can't float in the Northeast, okay? Everybody's in a hurry to do nothing. Fair? Okay? They're like 84. You're like, I'm busy. I'm like, dude, you ain't doing nothing. You got a buzzer at your house that stops everybody from getting in, which I hate up here. Everybody has a gate and a buzzer. I was like, what is going on? I'm getting stuck out here. It's two degrees. I'm like in Boston. And I don't drive in the snow. Like, they'd snow out here. Sean would get excited about people being home. And I'd be like, I'm going to stay at home. Like, what do you mean? I'm, I'm going to die trying to help people, like, from dying. You know what I mean? So, um, all right. So I'm going to spend the next 15, 20 minutes talking about the phone. Um, the phone is, is, is everything. It's everything. So if you're walking in here going, Man, um, I just, that phone part's cool, but like, I mean, I really just hope I can take some in-home stuff home and, you know, get some more, so I can be more confident in the, in, the, in the home, which you may get, but I think a lot of, well, I know, I'm done thinking with this, I know confidence comes from how many appointments you have, all right, and that's what allows you to do some of these things that you're going to learn in the in-home. Because if you're running three appointments, four appointments in a day, I don't care what Paul McLean says today, our Liz test today, our Schmitz, it's not going to help because you have four. So when you have four, then you have, you know, and you sit down with two and you close one, you may think, well, I got a no-show problem, right? Because two people weren't home. I'm like, I booked 40, sit down with 20. I don't think I have a no-show problem. See, your problems come with lack of results. Does that mean, like, your, your problem is if you were just as upset as your activity as you were your result, you would never be upset at your result. Because we never look at that. We go, man, we had, you know, they no-showed me. And I'm like, dude, you had six appointments. You know, what's the big deal? I've, ran, I've had 10 in a day, and all of them weren't home. And I'm getting, I'm, I'm going to get into the phone, but I just want to let you know, like, we're not trying to solve. We're not trying to solve those things. All right? So I'm like, um, what's the... Um, the definition of, of success on the phone. And, and really for me, as at the beginning, you gotta define your success, not about how many appointments you book, but how many people you get to pick up the phone. I think when we start, we get so, oh, we hear all these appointments, well, they have 20 appointments over the next few days, 15, and you're looking at your book, you're like, I got four. But then you get frustrated at the lack of appointments. And, but, also, but, but you had 20 people pick up the phone, when the previous week you had eight. We get so locked in on the, so we need to know what the win is. So when you start, or if you're not having the result you want, which is everybody in here wants to be helping 30 plus families a month, I'm assuming, you wouldn't be here, right? Like if you were like, I'm just cool with 10, you should have been at home right now, or in the field, which you probably wouldn't be in the field because you only help 10, okay? You're probably doing something else. So I'm gonna, let's talk about how to get people to pick up the phone. All right, I think this is massive. I think there's a lot of talk on script. There's scripts all over the place. I don't even like scripts. I call it an approach. You know, if I called 10 people, you'd be like, dude, you said something different every time. I'd be like, I know. Like, why'd you do that? Because they're all different people. Mary picked up the phone very ha happy, and, you know, 10 picked up the phone pissed off. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. The one picked up the phone and said, who's this? What do I sound like? This is, you know what I mean? Like, like you have to, it's, it's not a script. So how to get people to pick up, all right? Who in here works instant internet life leads or new internet leads? If your hand's not up, that may be why you're not winning. Is that fair? I don't want to be rude, but like, 
who's, who's using internet leads? Who has the opportunity to use internet leads and is not? There should be a lot more hands going up. Is anybody, is, are you guys just not in the field in here? No, let me know, who's, who's not, are you guys just like just starting? Who's just starting, has not called leads, has not sat down with people? All right, that's only three. So there should be a lot more people using internet life leads, okay? And, and, and you might be thinking, well, well, why, like, who thinks they suck? Let's be honest, come on, okay? Who goes, those things suck, right? All right, I'm gonna tell you why they suck, all right? They suck because you're probably calling them wrong. You're probably going, they never pick up, right? Or when they pick up, you deal with some stuff. Here's how you get them to pick up, all right? Because if you call 100 leads at one time, you're never going to have success. So when you buy 100, you hear all these trainings that go, buy 100 leads, every dial session, and then we call them. We go from one, we put them in phone burner, we go through one through 100, and we run through them. And we go, damn, like four or five people picked up. And then we do it again. And then we trick ourselves into making three, four, five, six hundred dials, not effectively, all right? You've got to take those hundred leads and break them up in groups of like 25, no more than 30. And if you're in phone burner, you can select 30 leads at a time, okay? Don't do all hundred. You can upload a hundred to your phone burner, but select 25 of them. And then I put them in order of zip code. So before I upload them in the phone burner, all right, and this is all stuff I did manually, but I'm talking phone burner now because I know everybody's using it. You put them in your Excel sheet, you go to the, uh, the zip code column and put it from A to Z, all right? It's gonna put them in order, so every lead is next door neighbors. So when I put them in phone burner and call them, everybody who picks up is next to each other pretty much, okay? I'm not gonna find myself jumping all over the place. And it's very important when you have that many leads to be in the right space when you're booking, all right? So 25, and uh, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna talk about this little uh, manual dial for a little bit. So 25, 30 leads, I'm gonna run through them. The first time, I'm calling them once. I know a lot of folks call them two, three times in a row. It's all to the same effect. It's all to, it's, it, it's the same thing, okay? So this is how I do it. I go one, through one time, I pick up the low-hanging fruit. It's very easy to get through 25 leads calling them one time. Fast, though. See, this is the part where we get screwed up when we're dialing. We call, we get somebody to pick up, they tell us something, we put our phone down, we, look, we book one, we look at Google Maps, we have one lady who's 65 and she says, oh, I got diabetes, and then you start doing underwriting guides in between your dials. It's like that's what slows you down. You gotta just pick up the phone and keep rolling. This is about speed, all right? So 25, I'm probably gonna get one to three people to pick up the first time through. As a new agent, you're deflated. I just gave you some, some air to go, you know what, that's normal. It's normal, all right? And then you go through again. I go back to the top. So that's 25 calls, takes you with three pickups, 15 minutes? You know what I mean? Time yourself. See, like, you, you, you got to get efficient with this. So 15 minutes to get through that, one to three to pick up. Next time, and this is not about books, this is all about getting people to answer the phone, okay? Next time I go through, I'm calling them twice in a row. I'm only going to let it ring three times, though. Why? Because I found myself listening to ringtones for a long time, and I realize I'm wasting a lot of life. I'm serious, I started thinking, I was like, dude, I'm, I just called them eight minutes ago. They didn't pick up. I'm gonna sit there and wait for Mary to, I heard a voicemail already. First time, I listened to the voicemail because I wanna know if Robert goes by Rob, Bob. I wanna know if Michael goes by Mike. I wanna know if Matthew goes by Matt. I want them to not pick up the first time almost. So I can write that down on the lead. So next time I call, it's, hey Marge, instead of Margaret. She's like, ain't nobody call me Margaret since I was like, you know, in high school, you know what I mean? It was a substitute teacher. So, um, so you want, you kind of want that. So pay attention to those things. Um, and versus being upset that they didn't pick up, be excited that you got their real name. Makes sense, mindset stuff. Second time through, twice in a row, let it ring three times. Hang up, call right back. What that does, saves you time, and it, it's a weird pattern for the clients. They're used to people just calling, going to voicemail, hanging up. When you call three times, hang up, call right back, they're like, oh, is this a problem? What's going on? 
They get curious. Now you got to be ready for callbacks, though, because you called them three times within 20 minutes. You got me? This is where, this is where having 20, 25 leads is powerful, because if you have 100 and they call you back, you freak out, pee your pants, and you miss the call. <laughs> You're like, well, I don't know where the lead is. Da, 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 da. You miss it. You're like, damn. Versus I got 25 in front of me. I look at the last four digits. Oh, that's Mary. Boom. Hey, what's up, Mary? Now she's like, damn. They called me, called me back, knew who the hell I was. <laughs> Do you, see, do you see how tightening this thing up can make you a little bit more effective when you like, because you're getting the callbacks, you just ain't picking them up. And then you try to call them back. Act as if. You'd be like, well, I don't know what type of lead it is. Yeah, you do. You know where you're calling at. You know, I'm calling, I'm, I'm calling about the life insurance in, uh, in, in Massachusetts. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't even know their name, but sometimes I just kind of just play it and then go back and find the number and go, oh, that's like, an hour the other way, I gotta call them and reschedule it. But it's, you're better off booking it, not knowing where they are or what it's about, than missing it and trying to call them back. All right? Third time through, I do it again. So now this is where your, you start, your hair starts to stick up a little bit and you get a little nervous, like, ah, oh, they, they kinda, they're about to, I'm about to ruin the lead and they're about to curse me out for calling them again. But you know what never happens is that. They never, I've been cursed out, but it wasn't because of how many times I called them. You know what I mean? I was, like, I was like, I was immature and I was trying to argue with them. She's like, I didn't fill out. Yeah, you did. I'm like, no, you didn't. You know, I was like, that doesn't work, by the way. Don't argue on the phone. Just like, I didn't fill it out. Oh, you didn't. Okay, well, somebody must be trying to take your identity. So my job is to get this to you so we're not liable for your identity um, information being out there. So tomorrow at 4, I'm going to drop this off to you so you can be reliable. So it, it's, off of our, it's off of our plate. You'd be like, is that true? I don't know. Sounds good. <laughs> be there at 4. You with me? Yeah. There's nothing. If we're selling contact, what reason would you not book them? I don't want it. Yeah, I don't want it either. Uh, I want my job, though. You know, the unemployment rate's kind of crazy right now. But tomorrow at 4, I'm going to keep my job and just bring this to you and do whatever it is you want to do with it. Well, I said I want you. I know I heard you, but I want my job. Tomorrow at 4, I'm going to keep my job, and you're going to get the information you want. It. Fair? And then I show up, and they're like, damn, that's it? That, that guy? Okay, come in. You know, like sell contact, sell contact, not the appointment. So third time through, by that time, third, fourth time through, I should have about 10 to 12 people who picked up the phone. It doesn't matter what lead type. This isn't a lead type type of thing. This is all leads, all leads, and more with aged internet leads. You're going to have more rounds of this, okay? Um, and then from there, I don't keep calling the 12 or 15 that I didn't pick up. Put them aside and pick up another 25 and do the same thing. And I think in order to go through three, four times, it's probably about an hour per 25 leads. So if you can bang out for an hour 25 leads, get half of them to pick up, dude, over four hours, that's 48, 40 pickups. That's insane. And that's a lot of, that, that, that's a lot of reps for you to either get good, make some adjustments, all right, and, 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 start, and start booking 15, 20 appointments in four to six hours. Because you can do it. Eric, is this all, is this all making sense, dude? Like, because it, at the beginning, though, you're not. Sean would, I'd be in the office, Sean would book, you know, 20 appointments in like three hours. And I'd be like, man, like, how do you do that? But it would take me two days. I wasn't booking 20 appointments in a one dial day. See, on the road to Hall of Fame, you're going to be dialing every day. This whole Monday, Thursday thing is, hmm, I don't know. Sounds like a job, right? You know, dial Monday, dial Thursday. I'm like, dude, I dial when I want. I love that. Maybe it's for people who need structure. Does that make sense? But I'm just like, let's go every day. Until, on my Mondays and Thursdays, I'm booking 20. But up until then, I'm dialing every day. I'll start dialing at 7.30. You may be like, that's too early. Who starts dialing at 7.30 here? How many people you book between 7.30 and 8? It's amazing. You know why? Because telemarketers aren't calling that early. They don't expect to be anything but something good for them. 
You start calling after nine, they're like, oh, the whole world's open now. <laughs> when the hell's calling me after nine? 7.30. And you're like, you want these, especially with the internet leads, because they're a lot older, and a lot of them, you, 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 they're, they're up at two, three in the morning filling that thing out. <laughs> it's, the, it's the weirdest thing ever. You're like, oh, wow. Like the, you, see, you see, like, you go to sleep, and then you wake up, and you're like, dude, there's like 100 more instants in your county before you're like, you're like, how'd that happen? Dude, people are up. They are looking for insurance. So there's not a best time, optimal time. I think the best time to dial is when you decide to dial. And I think the worst time, you know when you should be dialing because you're thinking about it. I, that's why I start early because I get, I get anxious. My palms start sweating and like, I'm just like, oh no. Like I get leads, like I get an email last night for my uh, mortgage leads out in California, and I'm like, oh my God, I'm not there. Like, who can I get these to? You know what I mean? Like, who, who can I get these to? Because it's that, and I just think the, the speed and your internet lead, the speed in which you get them, you gotta call them now. I think the age lead's a little, di little different. I don't think there's any, you know, like, but if you buy an instant or a new internet lead, call it immediately. Why? Because there's other places that are getting the data too, FYI. You guys get that, we get them for nine bucks, right? Nine bucks means like, you're like, exclusive? No? Really? You know, exclusive is like 30, 40, 50 bucks, and credits, all that type of stuff. We said, we don't want that. Give us as many leads as you can at the lowest cost, and we'll work them. And we'll never complain. Ever. So if it's a bad number, you go, nine bucks. It says Mickey Mouse, you go, hmm, work spots, four, 450. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like, who, it, it, see, it, don't let those things get in the way. Because when you start changing your script or your approach based on what one client said or what you think the ad says, or it, 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 it screws you up. You gotta have this confidence that I know that they want it, I know this wasn't a mistake. And how do you do that? Self-talk. may sound crazy, but I remember this training Sean did early on, and he talked about having the lead and looking in the mirror and talking to himself and going, hey, why would Mary fill this out and send it back to me and not want it? Why would a woman put her height, weight, date of birth and send it back to us if they didn't want it? Why would Tom put his, sign this, put his phone number, let us know if he had a DUI or not? And not, like, you see all the info that they give you on these internet leads? Do you guys think that's made up? Be honest, because when I started, I thought this stuff was. I did, and it stopped me from really believe, if you believed everybody filled it out and they wanted it, how would you act? When they said like, well, like, so my son says some of the craziest stuff, right? And I'm like, how do you want me to believe that? Like if I, if I, if I believe some of the stuff, it's just like with the clients. Oh, I didn't do that. Oh, I thought it would. And then you start believing it. It's, a, it's, it's dangerous. I'm not saying they're, they're lying. Yes, they are. They're lying to you. And they're just being buyers, they're just being consumers. That's it. So don't go, don't go down that road of trying to figure out. You know, and by the way, in all, all the lead companies, they all say they're the best, work them all. They're all they, they work them all, all right? And, this, and the, the approach is not different with where you are or, 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 or your location or your lead type. The only difference is where you're calling from. So if I'm calling mortgage, it's I'm calling from the Mortgage Protection Center. If I'm calling final expense, I say Senior Benefit Center. But let's be clear, it doesn't matter what you say as long as you're confident. It doesn't matter. You can say, I'm calling from my apartment. <laughs> and if it, comes out, if it comes out smooth and you're confident, they don't care. Right? Like the, and some people go, well, I can't say Senior Benefit Center because that's not real. I'm like, oh, you got problems. <laughs> I don't understand that. Some of the stuff that I'll be like, really? That's, that's your concern? Like, you're going to jail because they said senior benefit center? Like, why don't the senior benefit center be your living room? I don't know. You know what I mean? Why don't you want an LLC that says, see, just make it up then? I don't know. Like, what's the bit, like, uh, in the whole, in the drop off? You know, people go, well, Dom, your script, you say you're just going to drop it off. What are you going to drop off? I go, a six foot black dude. <laughs> <laughs> if my clients ask, that's what I tell them too. They're like, so what are you gonna drop off? I was like, well, I'm like six foot one and black. I'll be there at about five. <sighs> Is that cool? And I don't laugh. See, a lot of this stuff, like you hear, like it sounds funny and things like that. Like you hear Sean Tran, you'd be like, oh, that's funny, but it's real. See, it's not, I'm not, I'm not joking. It's not, 
you know, when they say, hey, I'm not interested, and I go, hey, I'm not interested either, but I got to keep my job, and tomorrow at 4, they got me out there. So I'm going to keep my job and get you the information at 4. Is that cool with you? It sounds funny in here, because you know I can't get fired, right? <laughs> but it's not funny in that scenario. It's not a game. I'm not laughing with them. I'm not joking about it. It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's like, this is, this, is how, this is how you take care of your family. And when you buy your leads and you start calling your leads and you start working them, you've got to get this feeling of pissed off and bothered inside of you. And a lot of you are there. You just don't know if it's the right feeling to have. And anger is good in this scenario. Don't lash out, but be angry like, you know what? I'm going to stop letting people tell me they didn't fill this out. I'm going to stop believing that they said that they thought this was free or they, you know what I mean, they were getting some, a gift card or something like that. Like, what? Like, I, I, I'm like, I've never heard that. And I've heard some people go like, they said they were getting a gift. I was like, dude, I've never heard that. And I actually sold leads that said they had gift cards. And we still helped them out. They were getting Domino's pizzas. I was like, and you're getting some insurance, you know? So, but it's a very, it's a very, very simple thing to do on the phone, all right? But it's very hard if you get in your way and have all these obstacles in front of you.